Hey everybody and welcome back to Castle in the Darkness as today we are continuing things off with uh not that one but 42%. Nice. Yeah, surprisingly uh my actual save I'm pretty really close to um the ending more more so than I was expecting. And I think in the last episode we kind of did take care of that stage, so we're going to move on towards uh, other pastures. And, uh, I don't know, hopefully we can find some other secrets that we're not aware of here. Welcome to your doom. And, uh, yeah, I'm unsure of uh, where we kind of left off, though. Not sure where we left off as at death here. But yeah, I'm pretty certain we did this one, because uh, it kind of seems familiar. But yeah, surprisingly, so I'm pretty much at the end of the game. I was not expecting it, but yeah, definitely am. And uh, I don't know, it, it, it's interesting. I've, I know I've seen uh, playthroughs of this game and kind of aware of a lot of what's what goes on in this game because I kind of spoiled it for myself but nonetheless uh, being able to play it yourself and you know experience it that way is also part of the fun so I mean not much is lost except for the surprise factor I would suppose but aside from that though uh, lightning yeah we don't even I don't think we have anything uh, lightning based at the moment. Oh, 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 okay, thank goodness for that, right? And I have a feeling I don't really need to be here. And it's crazy where they actually end up putting a lot of the secrets in this game at. It's like some of the things, oh. A lot of the secrets, uh, definitely wouldn't have thought of it. Wait. Uh, no, I guess not. But I guess uh, maybe some secrets are a little bit more specific as to how you acquire them. Chicken dinner. Yum. Should be a pork chop, though. Come on. And that's very easy to um, kind of... And... I'm just trying to think about that one. Because I know what's there, but... I know I don't think I can really access it at this point. Or maybe I'm forgetting how to access it. A freaking Ganon creature. And this one you just kind of pray, but... Did I get this one already? Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. But yeah, for this one you kind of just charge up and... You get three bags of money. And I could certainly use... Now I have a problem with uh, telling whether I've actually been to this point or not. Oh, of course. What an idiot I am, right? Let's go back and hope there's uh, perhaps a save point waiting for me. Oh, I did not know about this one. <laughs> is this, uh, is there a catch to what's going on with this fly? Sorry, I'm dead. Sorry to hear of that, you know? Uh... That's so random. Alright, I could really use a save point at this point. So I have not saved at all. So I'm just a little bit worried about my chances of survival. Oh, good. Okay, here we go. And I think on the top there, there should be something, right? Oh no, I already got that, I guess. Now is there something over here? I 
I guess not. And is this a fake? No, that's real. That's quite... How about this one? Because I know sometimes fakes. There's a lot of fakes sometimes. But I guess not in this case. And I think this one leads to there, yeah, also. But I... I'm just not sure about, uh... I mean, this leads to the torture chamber. So... I'm not sure if I'm actually ready for that one yet. I'm not sure I'm actually ready for that challenge. I think there might be more doable stuff uh, around here. Oh! Oh my god, Root's Key, so I, have to, I would have to go back for that. But okay, so that's one secret. But it's crazy how they hide some of these, uh... Hide some of these secrets, actually. Just like, there's no indicators whatsoever, it's kind of just... Basing on uh, blind trust or blind faith. And yeah, uh, just wouldn't have expected it to be there. Now, a uh, warp, I guess we could do that, but. I just feel like there's like maybe some kind of secret around here. Ow. Thank you, anyways, you jerk. Alright, maybe I can kill that guy over there with this here. Yeah, I can. And then I'll try and control these beasts with this, my sort of awesomeness. Ow. And little Metroid guys here, gotta love them. And I surprisingly made it without dying. Never mind. Son of a... You know how much I hate backtracking in this game? A lot. Alright, go there, go here, and then we go back to the castle. Grand Hall. Alright, so let's uh, take care of this guy again. Hope, oh, oh. well, I didn't mean to do that, but... You know what, that guy deserves it all, so he's a jerk. Too bad you can't kill him, though. As far as I know. Alright, and then this guy's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. And where's that platform? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we kind of got ourselves situated well here. At least, hopefully. This part bothered me so much when I first played through this. It's like I just can't stand creatures or enemies that kind of... Can't stand enemies that can um, just follow you. Without pause, it kind of annoys me. This annoys the hell out of me. And now I have to be extremely careful because, well... Ah, there we go. And let's see, uh, trying to keep an eye out for any secrets, if there's any. So a lot of this is just backtracking, at least uh, these episodes for now, the time being. And then yeah, that's kind of just like that, so that's fine, and I kind of to jump there for a moment. It's always a problem, right? Now, if only they would incorporate Nom Nom Galaxy into this game somehow. It'd be, be uh, pretty sweet. And I did the same mistake again. Alright, so there we go. I should be a master at this uh, one segment here. Any 
secrets here? Any secrets at all? No? It was interesting. I found two of them without really trying. It was just more of a... Trying to base it on a memory where they were. So uh, some of them are just really uh kind of interesting. They're pieces of work in terms of how they were hidden. I kind of love the music to this game though. Just uh, did a pretty good job with it. All right, so what's up here? Anything uh, secret like? Come on, come closer, I dare ya. Oh. Oh, interesting, I never knew about that one. And I'm not even sure what exactly happens when you get all of the um, pages. I'm sure something good has to happen. I mean, otherwise, why put the player through all that? And that is stuck there for all eternity. And oh, wow, that just mopped the floor with them. Yeah, nothing there, nothing there, and I guess I killed that guy without even realizing it. Just that good. Yeah, let there be a save point. Thank you. Wow. I forgot what sword I'm using at this point, because, um, it's pretty beasty, beastly. Uh, enter. I guess, uh, okay, I guess I haven't been around this area, from the looks of it. Oh. And, okay, yeah, the bow and arrow. I forgot about this one. It's like I was surprised I never even got this before. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, so that bow and arrow. I forgot all about that. Wait, is there a save point here? I forget. Yeah, it's right here. Good. Thank God. Yeah, bow and arrow, it's um, apparently really useful, at least for a little bit, well, no. I'm trying to think of when it's actually useful. Okay, what happens if, uh, oh. Would you like to buy Gungnir for, oh my god, that's a sword, I want that. I guess I got the key somehow, or along the way. Not sure when, but... Guess I could uh, do a little farming for some uh, money. For the monies. It's a lot of money to be saving up for, just so you know. So I think I'll be right back when I got enough money. Okay, so I'm back now, and I think I have enough money for it. Yeah, I do. And we are definitely going to equip this uh, beastly weapon because this thing has a heck of. Okay, uh, let's see, Xbox controller acting very wonky. Very weird. Um, yeah, gotta love the Xbox controller sometimes. But this thing has a ridiculous power, uh, yeah, power level. As opposed to the sword I was using before, which I think is the Runic Blade, which, um, kind of stood out at, um, I think a power of six. This one has a, uh, Attack power of 10, which is just ridiculous. And okay, I did not want to do that. Okay, so let's see. So we got the guard. Let's see, the world's worst sword, but if you use it in conjunction with a um, sword that commands the power of lightning, so power of 10. I mean, yeah, the runic 5, 6 for the sword of dawn. Maybe that's what I was using before. Mirror's edge. Yeah, so this thing's beastly. I love it. Then, uh, yeah, if you use the tunic with, um, the guard sword, then it kind of does a, a Zelda-like effect, in which you shoot, like, uh, I think it was in Zelda 2. 
in which uh, you kind of shoot like a tile like object. Oh! It's already making uh, good work <laughs> of what we have here. It's awesome. Yeah, you just don't mess with this weapon, apparently. Jeez, this thing is crazy. It's crazy good, but... I feel like there's like something there. I know there's something here, but did I already get to this? No. Interesting. It seems suspicious that there's that little space there. You would think that you could go there, but I guess not. Surprising, I thought I was going to land on some spikes or something there. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, this is pretty much leading to the glitch land, so... Nothing all that interesting to see at this point. There is a save point here, so that's good. But I can't help but think maybe there might be something else here. Don't need to go through that anymore, thank goodness. No, I guess not. Um, I was thinking there might be a little bit more to it, but... No, I guess not. Just a uh, glitch land. I know there's uh, a pair of weapons called, like, the Troll Blade and the Troll Armor. Have no, of, no real use because it's impossible to actually get the item in a way. By that, I mean, like, it's impossible because you can't get out of the situation or the room in which you actually get them at. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're cute, I guess, but... Oh, man, that always gave me problems. That one jump always gave me such a problem. I don't even believe it. Alright, so we got ourselves to another little location here, little save spot. Sir, are there any, like, any more secrets around here? I think I got this area already, though. Okay, let's get out of there. A oh, warp point, uh, not... Ooh. How I did not die to that is, uh, really surprising to me. Ah, oh, okay, a treasure chest that I... Oh, yeah. Not gonna get it that way. Alright, is there a save point? Because I could really use it at this... Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that definitely that music sounds definitely like Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI. But I think in the next episode, uh, now that we got like really powerful weapon at our disposal, I think we'll move forward into when the uh, when the temple or ruins and try and get some more on uh, secrets. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.